Several privacy groups are crying foul to the Federal Trade Commission over Internet-connected toys they claim put children's privacy at risk. One of those toys is interactive doll My Friend Kayla. Kayla knows millions of things. How about a new hairstyle? How about a ponytail? She understands you. Kayla knows millions of things. It turns out Kayla might know more about your child than her favorite hairstyle. WSJ reporter Georgia Wells covers this story and joins us now from San Francisco. Hi, Georgia. So various groups filed this complaint Tuesday with the FTC, alleging that two toys made by Genesis Toys collect and use personal information from children. What kind of information? Mm -hmm. So the main problem is these toys are collecting voice recordings of the children without the consent of their parents. And then they may be sending them to third-party companies to use the data. So, of course, the concern here being no one knows what your child will be telling this doll, correct? Right. And, like, experts say that part of the problem is that children form relationships with these dolls, and they'll tell them secrets, and they'll tell them personal information about their life in a way that they're not aware of, um, you know, some of the things that they might learn when they're older that they might not want to tell like these dolls that could be then telling companies. Of course. So do we know what Genesis Toys then does with this information it collects? They send it to a company called Nuance Communications, and Nuance Communications makes other products that have to do with speech recognition and speech recognition software. And so neither company responded to requests for comment. But um, so I don't know exactly what they do with the information, but I do know that in speech recognition software, they need lots and lots of data <clears throat> to improve the speech recognition software and to be able to learn what children are saying. Right. They're in the, that lack of transparency part of the problem. So, Georgia, it turns out that toys with this function have been able to dodge scrutiny focused on other Internet-connected products. Is that simply because since they're aimed at children, they've sort of been able to exist under the radar, so to speak? There are rules that are supposed to govern the types of like privacy and information that children use with their digital toys. But part of the problem is that it's a very new industry, and these toys are getting very complicated, and it's hard for people to tell exactly what data is being collected. And so part of the reason the group said that they filed this complaint was because they felt like the industry as a whole isn't developing standards to keep up with how advanced the toys are becoming. Right. Now, as a parent, I certainly agree. Now, this complaint against Genesis Toys, which includes the Kayla doll and the IQ intelligent robot, highlights the company does not get consent from parents to record their children's mm -hmm. voices. Is, is that at the crux of it? I mean, if, if consent were given, would it be okay? Right. So there are other examples where parents say that they're more um, aware that the data is being used. And so the one example is in video games. Um, like, it's very clear when a video game asks a child certain information, like a username to log in. And with these toys, nowhere in the packaging does it ask for the consent, and it also doesn't make clear to parents what exact information will be collected. Like, like the packages, the boxes don't, mm -hmm. don't warn parents, and there, there isn't a label, and there isn't... Um, you know, any space where it's asking for consent. As a parent, I certainly find that problematic. So, Georgia, how is the FTC likely to respond to this complaint, do you think? Right. So, in previous cases, the FTC has, um, like, filed suits to try to get companies to change this alleged behavior, and then it has often levied fines. Mm -hmm. Typically, they'll settle on some specific fine. But the point with the FTC's um, action in all of these cases tends to be trying to just change the behavior of the company and, um, you right. know, and again, protection of consumers. Genesis yeah. Toys hasn't yet responded, so we'll see what they have to say about it. But, but separately, Georgia, Hello Barbie, while not included in this complaint, has also drawn the ire of privacy groups as well. Is that right? Right, exactly. And the reason the privacy groups didn't go after Hello Barbie in this case was because it's sold only in the U.S. and they wanted to focus on groups where they could make like a bigger impact on the market. Mm -hmm. um, Hello Barbie, though, also didn't collect quite as much data as my, uh, my friend Kayla or the IQ Intelligent Robot because it shares transcripts rather than voice recordings of the children. All right, Georgia Wells, thank you so much for all that. Thank you.